بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از ڈاکٹر محمد معراج اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ڈپارٹمنٹ آف فائنانس اینڈ اکنامکس محمد علی جناح یونیورسٹی کراچی ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی مائکرو اکنامکس اینڈ اور ٹاپک ٹوڈے از ارگنائزنگ پروڈکشن آفٹر اسٹڈنگ دس چیپٹر یو ول بی ایبل ٹو ایکسپلین واٹ اے فارم از اینڈ ڈسکرائب دی اکنامک پرابلمس دیٹ آل فارمس فیس You can also distinguish between technological efficiency and economic efficiency. You can define and explain the principal agent problem and describe how different types of business organization cope with this problem. You can describe and distinguish between different types of markets in which firms operate. And you can explain why markets coordinate some economic activities and firms coordinate others. So let's start. So the first thing was what is the firm and what uh, kind of problem it has. So the firm is an institution that hires factors production and organizes them to produce and sell goods and services. And what is the firm's goal? So the ultimate goal of any business firm is to maximize profit. If the firm fails to maximize profit, it is either eliminated or bought out by other firms seeking to maximize profit. So how firms uh, measure profit? So measuring a firm's profit, the firm's goal is to report profit so that it pays the correct amount of taxes and is open and honest about its financial situation with its banks and other lenders. Here comes the difference between accountant and economist. Basically, accountant follow the rules of uh, international financial agencies. For example, um, financial accounting standard board's rules or general financial rules. So they measure the firm's profit using internal revenue services rules based on standards established by the financial accounting standard boards. In contrast, economist major profit based on opportunity cost. The cost of next best alternative for gone. So what is the opportunity cost here? So the opportunity cost each firm has faces. The firm's decision respond to opportunity cost and economic profit. For example, uh, it is possible, it is quite possible that firm can outsource other than manufacture that thing. So this is the opportunity cost of the firm that uh, they need to decide whether um, the cost of production is less or the cost of outsourcing is less. So this is the opportunity cost for them. Uh, if firm's opportunity cost of producing a good is the best foregone alternative use of its flexible production, usually majors in dollars. So the opportunity cost includes both explicit cost and ex implicit cost. So what is the explicit cost? Actually, explicit costs are the cost paid directly in money. Or we can say the explicit costs are the uh, out-of-pocket costs uh, and implicit cost are cost incurred when a firm uses its own capital or uses its owner's time or financial resources. So the firm can rent capital and pay an explicit rental cost. Or the firm can buy capital and incur an implicit opportunity cost of using its own capital called the implicit rental rate of capital. So this is the choice. If, if firm uh, wants to use their own resources, um, they also bear some opportunity cost. If not, uh, they, they also bear some other kind of opportunity cost. So the implicit rental rate of capital is made up of economic depreciation, and interest foregone and we all know that depreciation and economic depreciation is the change in the market value of capital over a given period of time and interest foregone is the return on the funds used to acquire the capital so here comes the cost of owners resources so the owners uh, often supply entrepreneurial ability and labor and the return to, uh, to entrepreneurship is profit and the return that an entrepreneur can expect to receive on the average is the called normal profit. 
but the opportunity cost of the owner's labor's time you know, spent running the business, the wage income that the owner foregoes by not working the best alternative job, definitely, um, you know, uh, each and every decision has an opportunity cost. So the cost of running a business is uh, the wage foregone uh, that might get some uh, somewhere else where the owner can do a job and get a salary. So this is the opportunity cost of the owner's uh, time and his skills. So the economic profit equals the firm's total revenue minus its total cost. The firm's total cost of production is the sum of the explicit cost and implicit cost. And the normal profit is part of the firm's total cost. So economic profit is profit over and above normal profit. So if you, if you want to get the economic accounting um, to maximize profit, the firm must make five basic decisions. Number one, what goods and services to produce and in what quantity? Number two, how to produce the production technology to use? Number three, how to organize and compensate its managers and workers. Number four, how to market and price its product. Number five, what to produce itself and what to buy from other firms. So basically, the first three questions are quite um, similar to the questions uh, we always discuss about the in economics that uh, what to produce, how to produce. Um, so here, uh, some important questions here, um, how, what to produce itself and what to buy from other firms. So this has the opportunity cost because if you want to produce by yourself um, and if, if you don't want to produce at home, so means you want to get uh, resources uh, outsourced. So what is the opportunity cost here? So another important decision here, how to market and price product because in perfect competition, we know that everybody is price taker. So you are not able to jump up your price uh, above, above the market price. So this is also important decision, how to organize and compensate manager and workers because the, here comes the um, principal agent problem or agency cost theory here how to produce it also has the uh, decision of you know opportunity cost because uh, there might be different ways of production so it is your choice which set of inputs to be used to produce your goods and what good and services to produce in what quantities sometimes it happens that some uh, some uh, firms have the uh, ability to produce number of goods so uh, it also involves uh, opportunity costs what product is to be produced and what product is not because um, it depends on the market demand um, whether uh, which product you want to produce and which product is not so what kind of constant from face uh, during their production pro uh, process. So the first one is the firm's profit is limited by three features of the environment. So definitely the firm is uh, technologically constrained, information constrained, and market constrained. So what is technology, technology constrained? You know technology is uh, any method of producing a good or services and technology is uh, you know time varying phenomena uh, technology advances over time so using the available technology the firm can produce more only if it hires more resources which will increase costs and limit the profit of additional output here comes the opportunity cost again um, buying latest technology means uh, you are investing a lot and uh, which will increase your cost of production and definitely your profit will be reduced in that case so there is a technology constant so from needs to check secondly the information constant 
from never possesses complete information about either the present or the future so future is uncertain as we all know this constant were limited information about the quality and effort of its purpose uh, also uh, it is quite uncertain that uh, what is the future buying plans of customers and what kind of competitors would be in the market in future so it is quite difficult for the firm to produce uh, with the limited uh, level of information so this information constant so the third one or the, the cost of copying with limited information limits profit definitely when you uh, try to uh, get more and more information you need to pay more and more for that so it will reduce your profit so the third one is market constraints so what a firm can sell and the price it can obtain are constant by its customers willingness to pay and by the prices and marketing efforts of other firms so because the firm is not alone in the market if we are talking about the perfect competition so it is difficult for the firm to charge price above than the market price also uh, if there are a lot of firms in the market it is quite difficult for the firm uh, to get more revenue uh, if um, a lot of producers are uh, producing the same product in the market so there is also a market constraints so the resources that a firm can buy and the prices it must be for them are limited by the willingness of people to work for and invest in the firm so these expenditures uh, firm incur over uh, show up these market constraints will limit the profit the firm can make so all in all we have three constant here number one uh, technological constant because uh, um, hiring more technology needs more investment that will limit your profit then information constant to get more and more information to be in the market you need to pay something and that that will reduce your profit and market constant because the market conditions limit your profit or your total revenue so that will be um, a constraining factor in your profit